Good morning, it's Tuesday, February 19th. Last Friday, business time played out at Friends & Company. On one of our breaks, Tyrus and I got to talking about how we're kind of tired of playing the same songs over and over. Hey man, did you ever get that change in your pocket thing taken care of? You know, it's still going jing a ling a ling and that got me thinking, because Business Time's only been a band for about 5 or 6 years, and though we used to play 10 to 12 shows a month, now we're down to only 1 or 2. So if we're tired of playing the same songs over and over again, just imagine what it must be like to play in a band that's been together for over 20 years. I mean, by now, Dave Matthews must be tired of playing some of those songs. I can't believe he's never been on stage and just sort of flipped out a little bit. It's crazy thinking how many times you played this song. Probably not too bad to be Dave Matthews, because I'm guessing every time he plays one of those songs, he averages, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars. I feel like having a boatload of money could go a long way towards easing feelings of burnout and boredom. But what about smaller bands? I mean, Sister Hazel, for example, has been a band almost as long as the Dave Matthews Band. They had a huge hit in the 90s with All For You, but then a couple years ago they played Busters right here in Lexington. And you know what? I've played Busters in Lexington multiple times. It's not that great of a gig, and I wasn't at that particular show, but I can almost guarantee you that they played All For You. And I can't believe that guy's never flipped out just a little bit during that song. It's hard to say I just don't kill myself and I... Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to play your hits to 50,000 people, walk off stage, get handed a briefcase full of money, and then drink champagne on your private charter bus while you're whisked away to the next mega amphitheater. It's a completely different thing to play your hits to a couple hundred people, walk off stage, settle up with the bar, and then drive through Burger King on the way to the next rinky-dink town. And to be completely fair to Sister Hazel, I have not been exactly following them for these last 20 years, and I only did about five minutes of research for this video, so perhaps they're happy and doing quite well. I did see, however, where Sister Hazel played the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot this last October. Now, Jamie and I were there for our honeymoon, and while we didn't see Sister Hazel, we did see Smash Mouth, and to be honest, they were kind of sad. I used to be an all-star, but now things have changed. I used to be an all-star, but I lost half my range. This used to be the high part, can't sing it anymore, because I'm different bands though, so you never know. Now I don't really have a point here except that you might want to think twice before shouting out Freebird the next time you go see Skinner, or the next time you go see Business Time, or really any other band for that matter. You never know just how sick a band might be of playing your favorite song. There's no things of note this week, but the takeaway from today's video is that Business Time is looking for a few new songs to spice up our set list. If you have a request or a suggestion for a song we should learn, let me know in the comments below. After you do that, I guess I'll see you guys next Tuesday, and as always, thanks for watching.